AC joint, there's a little joint here, which is above the shoulder joint, above the ball and socket. There's a little joint called the AC joint that connects the clavicle, the collarbone, to a little bone called the acromion. AC joint arthritis is caused by the transmission of large loads through a very small contact area. That's why very often you'll see this problem in a young athlete or overhead athlete. Imagine a person in the gym doing heavy weight lifting and they're lifting very heavy weights and all that load has to transfer through a tiny little joint. Over time, that can lead to arthritis, which can lead to pain. This is an x-ray example of AC joint arthritis. We can see narrowing of the AC joint and formation of osteophytes or bone spurs. On some x-rays, we can see erosions at the end of the clavicle, what we call osteolysis, and can also be evidence of the increased stresses and arthritic changes going on in the AC joint. If a patient has tried all the non-operative approaches and they persist and continue to have pain that affects their ability to do things, then we often will recommend a procedure called an arthroscopy. In this procedure, we take a camera and we thread it into the shoulder and we are able to look right into that joint. And what we often will do is clean out that joint. And what we do is we shave down a little bit of the end of the bone to give a little bit of a gap so that the bones don't rub each other on that joint and that helps get rid of the pain. This is an arthroscopic view inside of a shoulder. We can see the end of the clavicle, the acromion bone, and we even see a small little loose fragment that's loose inside this arthritic joint. This is after the arthroscopic procedure and you can now see the increased space between the two bones that will avoid the rubbing and stop the pain. Patients often have pain with activity. At rest, very often they're doing fine. But if they're doing an overhead activity or they're lifting heavy weights, very often they'll have pain. If they're reaching across their body, they can have pain. And in the office, if we press on that joint, it can be very tender and painful. Our first line of defense against this problem is to try a non-operative approach. And this might include modifying activity, changing up the sport, or lifting less weights. Very often, icing the shoulder down. Sometimes even taking an anti-inflammatory can help. And sometimes we'll have a patient work with a physical therapist, improve the mechanics of the shoulder. That sometimes reduces pain. If they persist and have pain, we'll sometimes try a cortisone shot right into that little joint to try to fight that inflammation. Very often, these are successful. If you're experiencing shoulder pain and would like to see me, to make an appointment, click up here. If you'd like to watch one of our videos on shoulder bursitis, click down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, click on this icon right over here.